Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, I'm Melody. I am an indie author and it is almost 2022. Can you believe it? It's almost 2022. Like this whole year has flown by and last year just flew by and it's, it's crazy. So at the end of 2020 last year, I made a video where I discussed all of the writing goals that I had for 2021, all of the writing, all of the publishing goals that I had. So I thought it would be fun to go back to that video and watch it and react to it and see how well I did. So yeah, let's get started on it. All right, so I have my iPad and I've got the video pulled up. All right, let's react to it. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my video for my January 2021 writing goals as well as the yearly goals for 2021. I thought I would do uh, this all together instead of making two separate videos. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is since I did this video with January goals and then 2021 goals, I think I'm gonna skip ahead. I'm, I'm going to get to the part where I talk about 2021. So I'm gonna find that now. So finally, with like four minutes left of the video, I get to the 2021 goals. That was a very lengthy video I made. Next year, I am going to publish my first book, One Big Mess. So, okay, my goal for 2021 was to publish One Big Mess, which I did. That is coming out. I, I don't know the release date yet. I think I'm going to try to shoot for, like, maybe in April, maybe March or April, maybe sometime in the spring. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I was going to, though, I did publish One Big Mess, but I was going to shoot for like a March or April release, maybe sometime in the spring. That did not happen. That did not happen because what, what I realized was that publishing is, it's just a process, you know, it's a process and it's not something that I like to rush through. All right, look, y'all, I am the kind of person who reads their emails like a couple of times before I press send. So if you think that I am going to rush through publishing, you're mistaken because, um, yeah, no, so yeah, January of last year, I was working on the edits for One Big Mess and I was shooting for an April release, mostly spring release. And I do remember that did not happen because I just had so much going on and it was just it was taking so long to get the to do the copy edits and make it as perfect as I wanted it to be. So, yeah, that didn't happen and I now know knowing what I know now about publishing and my personal preference like I'm like I say I'm not one to rush through publishing. I have to take my time and I want to do it right, make sure all my ducks are in a row, make sure all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. So yeah, I, I I think I was a little bit ambitious, but now I know. It was actually published in June of 2021. So I was two months off, but you know, June is still a pretty good release date. So I'm happy with when I released it. And then after that maybe hopefully after I get one big mess published then I can concentrate on getting the Anna series published stories one and two okay I've got to stop the video for just a moment and react to what I just said so after I publish this was my plan I said after I publish one big mess I'm going to get started on stories one and two of the Anna series. My plan was to get those published too. I was very, very ambitious. I wanted to publish three stories in a year. That is so, so far from happening, y'all. So, so far from happening. The reason why, if, if you watched my vi other videos, you know, but if this is the first video of mine you're watching, you don't know the backstory. 
I had written a story about a girl from sixth to eighth grade. And so it was a series that I had planned. Now the Anna story was the first novel that I wrote. The very first novel that I wrote. And you know what they say? They always say that the first novel you write is like always like the worst one. And yeah, yeah, it, it it's, I, I won't say that the novel is bad, but it really needs a lot of work. It still needs a lot of work. And I had wrote this novel. I had finished the first draft. I had my mom and my sister read it and everyone loved it. And so I was eager to get that story published. But I did not want to publish that one first because I think I knew in the back of my mind, I knew that there was something wrong with it or something that, I don't want to say wrong with it, but there was something that I just needed to fix with it. And basically what happened was that I just couldn't see the forest for the trees. I just, I was so close to the story. I could not figure out what exactly it was that I needed to do to make the story better. And so I did have a beta reader take a look at it and mind blown. Like, I just couldn't believe like, oh my gosh, she's so right about so many things in that story. I just didn't have enough conflict and just maybe some of the pacing was off and there's just so many problems that I had to fix with that story. Um, the characters, they just, I needed to develop them a little bit more. So basically what's happening with that story right now is it is going over a complete rewrite. Not a revision, a rewrite. I am actually changing parts of the story to make it better. And so basically it's like I'm writing a first draft all over again. And that story is far from being finished. I did work on it a few months ago and I just have now decided to take a break from it because I'm concentrating on some other stories right now. I will and I will come back to it, but I just I needed a break from it, you know. And uh yeah, that's <laughs> the Anna story is not going to be published anytime soon because it just really needs a lot of work. Okay, so why would I want to publish a story that I feel like needs a lot of work? Well, I mean, it's it's the story of my heart. You know, it's that one passion project that you have and you really love and it's near and dear to your heart. And I worked on that story for over the course of 10 years. And after that, after all that work, I just... I don't want to ever not have it see the light of day. You know, I, I want to eventually send that baby out into the world, but she's just not ready yet. So she will be one day, but I just want to wait before I publish that story. I, I think the more stories that I write, the better my writing is getting. And I just think that if I get some more stories under my belt, then I will be able to go back to that story and really make it shine. So that story is on hold for right now. Now, the second story in the Anna series, I think the first draft of that story is really good. I really do. But I'm going to have to go back and make some changes to that story because I'm making changes to the first story. So I can't really publish the second story until I publish the first story. So that story is on hold too. But that's what's going on with that. I was very, very ambitious and thinking that I was going to publish three stories in one year. That is insane. I really think I am going to be one of those people who publishes once or maybe twice a year. Not going to be publishing three stories a year. I mean, not unless I ha already have something done and it's ready, but knowing me and how slow I am, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm going to have to uh, finish the edits on that, the never-ending edits. I know I'm always talking about editing the Anna. Yep, never-ending edits. But after I finish the edits, uh, then I need to get uh, the cover, the book covers for those. And because the book is uh, going to be a book series, I need to make sure like the covers look very similar. Okay, so I did actually make some some sort of progress with the book covers for those. I did get some stock images from Deposit Photos, which is a great website if you're looking for stock images. 
it's really best to do the plan that they offer because you get more bang for your bucks. So I did the $30, uh, you know, for a month for 30 images. And I did that for two months. So I have 60 images that I bought. So I found several pictures of the same model. You can tell it's the same girl, but you can see like she's older in some of the other pictures. So I thought that would be really great for a series. That way I can have the same model, but have her at different ages. So I did actually do some work on the book cover. I have, I talked about in a previous video, I tried out Affinity Photo, which I love Affinity Photo. I use that for making my thumbnails for YouTube, but I also use it for making my book covers and I'm still kind of learning the ins and outs of how to do my own covers. I think by the time I publish my next book, my book cover skills will have improved a little bit and I will really be able to do some awesome covers. And so yes, the Anna cover is mostly done. Like I know how it's going to look. And the second cover, I think I know how that one's going to look too. I think I'm just gonna do something really simple for those. I'm just gonna have the picture of the girl and just have the solid background color but I don't know what color yet for the background, so I'll, I'll decide that when it gets closer to time. But yes, I did make some progress on the book cover, so at least I did that. So hopefully I can get three books published. Hopefully I can get three books published. Oh, Melody. Melody, 2020 Melody. No, 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 you're not gonna get three books published. You're going to get one book published. You're not gonna get three. I mean, can I even imagine if I could do three books in one year? Because book publishing, like even if you self-publish and you can do things on your own timetable, for me, that timetable is still slow because I have to do the first draft and then I read it several times. And once it gets to the point where I think it's ready, then I can send it off to other people to read and to edit. And when I get that back, then I need to go in and do the copy edits and do all the, the feedback changes and everything like that. That takes a long time to do. And, and sometimes you're waiting on people to get back to you. So like the editor who I used for One Big Mess, she, she actually was, her turnaround was really great. But when I asked her about another project, she couldn't quite fit me into her schedule right away, which actually worked out for the best because I decided that I needed more time to work on that story anyway. But yeah, there's no possible way I could have got three books published in one year because I'm such a slow writer and then I take my time, I'm a perfectionist, and then just, yeah, getting all the copy edits and waiting for all that. It's not gonna happen. I don't want to overwhelm myself by trying to do more than three. I just don't want to overwhelm myself. Publishing one book was really overwhelming. It was so overwhelming that I couldn't even write. When I was doing all the book launch stuff, I couldn't even concentrate on writing. So yeah, it's, it's very, very overwhelming. I, I do have several more books that are finished um, that, you know, they just need to go through more editing, you know, no, another round of editing you know, endless rounds of editing. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm just, I'm, the reason I edit so much is because I'm a perfectionist. I just like won't let it go. Like I just keep reading it and reading it and rereading it and rereading it. And like, I keep making changes, but anyway. That is true. Like, I, I think I just said that. Yeah. I am a perfectionist. I, I totally am a perfectionist. But anyway, myself is what I'm saying. So I think three books is a good number to aim for to publish in a year, right? And then, um, then <gasps> I just can't believe how ambitious I was. I wanted to publish three books. <laughs> Hopefully I can finish that Rachel and Chase story this year and get that ready. And then I can publish that in 2022. Oh gosh, I wanted to finish the Rachel and Chase story. That's right. Yeah, y'all know if you have watched my other videos, you know I have struggled with this story, the Rachel and Chase story. I had started that story back in 2020. 
and then I wrote some of it, and then I needed a break from it, and then I tried to write it again in 2021, earlier this year. So it was around April or May, I think it was, when I was working on that story. And I worked on it for a while, but then I just, I just got burned out on it, and I needed to make some changes to the story. And that story is still not done. I do want to work on that story next year, but yeah, I did not finish that story this year, and I'm not going to finish that story this year. Maybe next year, but yeah, definitely not this year. And then after I publish um, that one, then I could publish the rest of my Turtle Creek series. So, yeah, yeah. Probably what's going to be happening is I'm going to be writing some stories, and then I'm going to get burned down on them, and then I'm going to go back to that stack of first drafts that I have and, and do more editing because, you know, that's my favorite thing to do, right? Not really. All right, so I'm going to make a comment about the writing and editing I was thinking about I was going to be doing this year. And I got to be honest, writing this year has been really, really hard for me. It, it really has been. I have only finished one story. And when I say finished, I mean I finished the first draft and then I got the editing, my edits done. It's not been through a professional editor yet, but it's at the point where I think it's ready to be edited. So I, I only finished one story. And the Rachel and Chase story, like I say, I didn't finish that. The Anna story didn't get finished because I realized I needed to rewrite that. And, uh, yeah, I didn't really work on any other stories except my NaNoWriMo project, which was really the first time I was really, really able to write something because this has been a really hard year for writing. I don't know what it is. And when I was doing the book launch for One Big Mess, I just couldn't concentrate on writing. So yeah, it's not been a great writing year for me. I do still have a lot of first drafts that I need to go back and edit. So yeah, there is that. But uh, yeah, it's not been a good writing year for me. I'm hoping 2021 will be a better year. Maybe this will be my year. I hope 2022 is going to be better. And maybe this will be the year I can finally say I'm a published author. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. All right. So yeah, 2021 was the year I could finally say that I'm a published author. So yes, there is that. I did meet that goal. So at least I got some of my goals. I got, I did get one big mess published. I didn't get it as published as soon as I thought I would get it published, but it did get published. And... I got some writing done, but I didn't get as much writing done, but, eh, you know, some years are just better than other years. I'm hoping 2022 will be a much better writing year for me now that I have published one story and I kind of know a little bit more about what I'm doing. Hopefully next year will be better. We shall see. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up because it does help my channel grow. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye.